Okay, you back? Final thoughts? All right, let's do this thing. Uh, hi. Oh, I'm just gonna. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry. That, that just wiped me out. Um, I think I, I'm pretty sure I haven't looked yet, but this must be the longest run through I've ever done, uh, beating my previous record of I think ground floor. Um, geez, I mean this might be upwards of an hour and a half at this point, and I am exhausted. I think I'm going to take a nap afterwards. And my arm is certainly beat, and I think it's, uh, oh, it's also time to get rid of this holiday beard. Although you guys tell me, what do you think? Keep or, keep or lose it? I don't know. Anyway, uh, Shipyard is amazing. It is, if I, I'd have to go back and look, I think it's in our top 10 games of all time, period. Easily top 15, but I'm pretty sure it's one of our top 10 favorites. We absolutely love this game, and the, I mean, the only reason we don't play it more is because it is so big and so involved. I mean, this is bigger and heavier and more complex than Agricola. It's probably... I've, I've, I don't know. Sorry, I'm, a, uh, I'm, I'm literally mentally exhausted from having just done this run through. And I wasn't even playing particularly well. I mean, but uh, this game is, there is so much going on. So many, so many plates to keep spinning with, you know, the, and, and everything has to be perfectly centered. Or it doesn't have to be, but to do well, everything can be perfectly synergized. And when you do, it's just an amazing feeling. Building the absolutely perfect ship for the perfect canals that you have built and you know and to match the perfect objectives that you've done getting all that stuff to come together is just so immensely satisfying and you know there's so many different ways you can play uh, you know and with different things to focus on i mean the game is just absolutely stunning and, you know any game where you could spend your entire game um, just building one single ship, one uber ship, one perfect ship, and you know, you're up against somebody who's just banging out, you know, size three ships over and over and over and over again, and it can be a close, tight race between those two players, those two radically different philosophies. You know, it's so well balanced to be able to pull that kind of thing off. I, I, I'm, you know, I'm hard pressed to think of, uh, of any competition for it, really. I mean, actually, there's, you know, and, and plus, the satisfaction of building something, it's the same kind of satisfaction you get at the end of Agricola, you know, when you, when you see your perfectly created farm with, you know, and everything's all laid out really nice and your, your family's fed and happy. Here you get that when you look at your sh the fleet of ships you have built, um, you know, with all the little kukramas on it and you say, I built that. I mean, it's, you didn't obviously, but you get a sense of satisfaction that's just, just wonderful. It's what board gaming is all about. I mean, Jen and I, we I love this game so much, and the only reason it doesn't get played more is, one, its setup is atrocious. There's so many pieces, and then two, it's such a big, heavy game. Actually, that's one of the reasons we're looking forward to Gear and Piston, um, which looks, on the surface, to be kind of a very, very similar game, to, but kind of like a light to medium version of Shipyard, which is awesome, because we want more of our Shipyard itch. But also, what we really want more of is a Vladimir Suchi itch. I mean, between this and Last Will, he's one of the best designers working today, and it's a real shame he's not more prolific. I want more Vladimir Suchi. Vlad! Give us another game. And none of these games that take three players, more two-player compliant games. Still got trying to get Klondike. Very excited about that too, because I mean he's just one of the best unsung designers working today because this game is amazing. Um, you know, everybody should play this game at least once and have your mind blown and yet still come out the other side thinking, wow, I can't believe that's what I pulled off. Absolutely love it. Can't recommend it highly enough. That is Shipyard. Thanks everybody. Um, thanks to Thor for making me do this. Um, I actually feel kind of satisfied. I've actually successfully done this. Although, boy, I don't know if it'll make any sense at all. But hopefully it was of use to some folks. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. Please point out any mistakes I made. I'd be shocked, shocked and appalled if I didn't make a few mistakes um, over the length of this video. I mean, by the way, people realize, don't watch my videos to know exactly how to play a game, because I generally make a few mistakes, because I'm just juggling too many things, playing for two players and filming and all that. Um, read the rules. I just give you a flavor. I just let you know what this game feels like, so you know whether it's a game for you, and also when you're reading the rules, so you have kind of a context that makes it easier to absorb and learn how to play the game. Anyway, thanks everybody. This has been Rotto Runs Through Shipyard. I will talk to you guys later. Bye bye It is now nap time. Okay. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Oh, you won't focus on the dog? That would have been nice. Oh, there we go. Dobby! 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 She's not dead. Oh, come on, Dob. Okay. Dob. There you go. There you go. See, she's okay, folks. She's just really sleepy. Okay. Bye, everybody. Yeah. Shipyard. Bye-bye.